everyone, it's Miss Stephanie here. I have a fun thing that we can do today involving sensory. So, all you need is some construction paper or uh, cardstock paper. This is what I have here some cardstock or some typing paper, a Ziploc bag, gallon size, and some paint. I have red, yellow, and some blue. Now, make sure you also have some uh, newspaper or something that you can put down so that way it's not a mess and it's easy cleanup. What we're gonna do is take some paint and you're like, wait, I don't want my kids playing all with this paint because I wanna clean it up. So guys, let your parents help you with this process. Parents, just put some paint onto the canvas and you can put a lot or you can put a little bit. I found that putting a nice little glob size is actually going to help do the trick. And then there's some yellow. Ooh. Hey guys, who can tell me what does red and yellow make if you blend it together? Ooh, let's see. We got some good answers. <laughs> I'll let you discover that. I won't give you the answer on that one. <laughs> And I'm gonna put some blue. All right, there's some blue. Now, you I might also want some tape for this project as well. And so what you're gonna do is we're gonna put our creation into the Ziploc bag. And then we're gonna seal it. Seal it really good. Now, if you think your kiddo would not open it, cool. But I'm pretty sure some of you kids might get interested and want to open it up. And that's where that tape comes in. And you can tape it down. You can tape it to your table, tape it down to the newspaper or something like that. So now we have our paint nicely put in our Ziploc bag. Now your kids can just sit here and they can squish the paint around and make their own really cool design with the paint look what I'm doing <laughs> now your kids may think whoa wait there's no paint on my hand but they know they're touching the paint that's the cool thing about this here that they can smear the paint all around in the bag but the paint's not on your fingers <laughs> now true this fun activity may only last at about an attention span of maybe 10 minutes or so. But in the meantime, it's pretty cool to do still. Look how I really smeared it out. Right? How cool is that? Now you can tell your kids, we can talk about colors. You know, this is red, this is yellow, this is blue. Look how that blue and yellow is making green and that you notice there's some hues of orange mixing in with the red and the yellow so small science is pairing as well <laughs> now we're playing and we're squishing all around and this is cool now what you could do is hold on to this you could um, just let it be like this and say, this is something cool that we did. Take a picture. I would love to see it. Put it on our Google Classroom. Or you can take out, untape it, take out your card if you want to, take out your paper, and then you can let it air dry. And then you can always use it as a cool card. You can fold it. You can cut out different shapes and stuff after your masterpiece is all dried out. Preferably, I'd rather keep it in the plastic bag and just think it's really cool to mess around with. Another cool thing you can do with it before you close it up, if you want to, while the paint is in there, you can always take some baby oil and kind of squirt it in there. A couple of drops. And that really gets that paint going. Look at there. The more colors you use, the more of a rainbow effect you will have. Have fun and get creative. Bye.